We're with members of the Tufts University men's soccer team, which just won 1-0 in the NCAA quarterfinals against Kenyon College at Bellow Field. From left to right, goalkeeper Scott Greenwood, head coach Josh Shapiro, and Nate Majumder, who scored the game-winning goal. Coach, can you make an opening statement? Um, I think uh, just getting a chance to host the NCAA tournament and give these guys another, another game, the senior class that's done so much for our program, and... and to see them have such a big influence on getting us back to the Final Four um, is just a wonderful thing. The crowd was amazing. You know, our, our upperclassmen played you know, tremendous heart and, and made the plays that needed to be made to, to get us to that next stage. And um, couldn't be prouder of where they've helped us get. And then at the same time, you know, we don't want to be uh, short-sighted. Now we have a chance to go and, and get the whole big thing. And, and uh, I'd love the guys to be totally focused, enjoy their Thanksgiving, but come back ready to work and, and with the rise in the prize and you know the goal now is to, to win another national championship and, and I'd love to think we've got the people and qualities to, to be really competitive for that. Nate you scored the game winning goal can you give us a play by play on what happened and how exciting you are to have scored it? Yeah I mean it's always extremely exciting to score in these big games and uh, you know you don't get the opportunity to do that that much so it's, it's a great feeling but uh, on that play so we, we've been working on the, the long throw um, deep into our uh, into their end, and uh, so we just executed it very well, which we hadn't really done um, so far this season. And uh, I think it was Dexter who, who found the ball on his head and perfect flick in behind there the defense. And I was just trying to get any part of my body on the ball possible to put it in the net, and I managed to flick it in there past the goalie. So great feeling. Mid shin. Yeah, sure. Who knows? <laughs> Scott, you played a lot of balls in the air today with a crazy wind out there. How much of an effect did the wind have on the game and on your play in particular? Yeah, the wind was definitely, you know, it's never easy to deal with, especially when you're out there and it's as strong as it was. But like I said, just trusting my defense out there to make the right decisions, giving me room to work, protecting me when they needed to, and being able to come off my line and get a few of those for us felt nice and just being able to make an impact wherever I could. And, trying to keep that zero on the board. We, we take pride in it as a team, so to be able to do that once again, just it was great. Wind, no wind, whatever. That's, that's our goal every game. Questions? Yeah, Nate, could you just talk about the season overall? You missed some time to begin the season. Now you've scored two game-winning goals in the NCAA tournament. Just talk about your personal journey this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously not not – an ideal start to the season through through my personal eyes, and um, it's never never fun, never easy. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season, it was all about how can I help the team uh, from the bench, whatever I can do. You know, I didn't play; I think it was the first seven or so games. Um, and so, there's but there's always other things you can do. You know, be a be a leader from the bench, be a leader off the field in the locker room. Um, so I was trying to do the best I could to uh, to help us along, even if I wasn't making the impact on the field that I wanted to be making. Um, but you know, to be able to, to come back and, and you know have our season get extended into the NCAA tournament was just it's an amazing feeling to you know get to play in my senior season. I, I was just you know wanting to play in as many games as I could. Knew I might not have that many left, so now to, to keep extending it game by game is an amazing feeling. And to get back to the Final Four for the second time in three years is absolutely amazing. Scott, could you talk about the defensive effort throughout the NCAA tournament? You have four. Um, consecutive shutouts. Just talk about your the defense in front of you and the defensive effort overall. Yeah, definitely. While while the credit a lot of the time goes to me for getting the shutouts, it's it's not that by any means. Our team has such excellent defensive effort on and off the ball, pressuring where pressure is needed, and especially got to give a shout out to my back four: Sterling Weatherby, Dan Sullivan, Connor Coleman, Steve McMillian, and Matt Zinner coming off the bench. Absolutely fantastic effort. Every time they come out, I trust them. I trust them with my life. I trust them to defend my net, and they make my job a lot easier than it could be. So I think it's more of an overall team effort, and to be able to get these shutouts obviously feels great, but more importantly, at the end of the day, we're looking for Ws, and we got one of those today too, so it was a good day. Coach Kenyon eliminated you guys last year. How nice was it to come back and be able to get a little bit of revenge this year? It was very nice. I think it's, it's something the guys talk about, you know, and, and, and it always you're always looking to motivate your group when you get the NCAA tournament. Hopefully it doesn't take that much, but, you know, when we got Kenyon today, I knew we'd be ready. Um, and I think that was a very good Kenyon team. You know, they only graduated, I think, one significant contributor from last year who was a very good player. 
Um, but regardless, that, that's a very good team that, that came in and, and you know, beat an excellent Trinity team. So, you know, I think we knew we had our, our, we had our hands full today, um, and it was a back and forth game. I think, you know, both teams probably felt like they maybe deserved it, but we got it. And uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, the win over them feels fantastic. You know, you always want to beat a team that, that beat you when, in a game that you feel like you maybe could have taken yourself. So, revenge certainly plays a little bit of a part, but it's just more than anything, it's just like now we can keep playing. I want to keep this group together as long as I can. I've enjoyed them so much. Um, and we get to keep playing when it's cold, which is, means you're playing when it matters. So that's always exciting. Coach, where do you think the keys are going to be in Virginia for the Final Four? Um, I don't know who's in yet. So I think regardless, you know, the fact that we've been there, um, I don't think any of the teams in it will have been there in the last little bit. Um, maybe Calvin, if they get through. But uh, I think staying true to who you are and, and you know, Showing up and, and playing your game, it's, it's not any different because it's the Final Four or if it's the regular NCAA game or it's a league game or an only game. You've got to show up and, and do what you do well and be prepared for your opponents and, and uh, you know, frankly, handle Thanksgiving break intelligently um, and, and get yourself ready to go. But we're, we're going to be ready. We're going to be motivated. Um, we're hopefully going to be healthy. And uh, we can't wait for the opportunity. Nate, following up what Coach just said, it is a two-week uh, break now until the Final Four. What's the plan that he shared with the team? How are you approaching these this two week period until the games? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's important to you know enjoy the holiday, enjoy with your, the time with your family. Um, we're, you know, we're not saying that the practices are going to be you know getting in the way of that, but but we are going to stay mentally tuned in to our goals and uh, what we need to do. Um, you know, so we're going to be practicing up until people head out for break, and then right when we get back and. and dial back in for a full week of practicing uh, before we head down there um, because, I mean, we've had, you know, a week between every round of, of this tournament and we know we can, we can get dialed in and, and be ready for those games. So it's just going to be like any other weekend, you know, going on a road trip, winning two games. Anything else? Um, Coach, Kenyon's style of play was a lot um, of, like, in the air, which I know is the opposite of Tufts. How do you think your team dealt with um, the ball always being in the air and having to control it in the air? Um, it's, it's a hard challenge, but I do think um, Kenyon and, and their style of kind of direct and, and really high intensity pressure, you know, they're, they're really effective at it, but I also think it's something that we do see in our conference some. So I think it's, 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 a, it's a style that we're not unfamiliar with, so we kind of knew what we might be able to do to negate it, although at the same time I think they were very effective. You know, I thought they were the better team in the first half. Um, so I think you know it, it's understanding how to win the first and second balls and get it down and, and trust your soccer and kind of relax after you have to be pretty intense to win those battles. And that, that's not an easy thing. But I think just trying to let the guys know and, and make them aware that we've been in this situation. We've played teams like this. We've got to trust what worked in those scenarios. You know, and, and quite honestly, I think they're, they played a similar style to Amherst. And that was a game that we did well in this year. So that was something we referenced and, and uh, used an example of, of a way to hopefully be effective against you know, their very strong, effective tactics. Um, Scott, you had a lot of shots that you had to save in the second half especially. Was that something you liked, or did you feel like the defense could have prevented more of this? I had never put it on my defense, and as a keeper, it's kind of a paradox. You, you want to be busy to make it feel like you're actually contributing to the team, but at the end of the day, a game with zero shots on me is a great game as a team. So, you know, they protected me very well to be able to come out a few times and come up with a save or two here and there to protect them. It just It's just how our system works, and I'm just hopefully back there doing my job for my team, helping us win, and like I said, at the end of the day, that's all we're looking for. So whatever it takes, we kind of have that mentality. We just are going to do everything whistle to whistle that we can to get that win. Well, thank you very much, and congrats on the win. Thanks thank so much. Thank